Hey guys, welcome to Doctor's Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn about Ideogram AI Tutorial, how to create designs for print on demand. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Today, we are excited to introduce to you a fantastic AI tool that has been new and can help you generate t-shirt designs with text. So whether you're into print on demand or just want to create unique t-shirt designs, Ideogram AI is here to make the process easier. So in this video, we'll walk you through the process on how to use it step by step and for us to be able to get started if you don't have an account yet, just simply sign up with Google in here. So right after a quick sign up or login, you'll get redirected onto its dashboard. So the best part of this website, it is it is currently free to use. So you might have to sign up and join the waitlist before, but in our case in here, since we've got some access already, you'll just need to head over to the website already and directly sign up to it. So you'll find yourself in Ideogram's clean and user-friendly interface, and here you'll see currently trending images created by other users. So you could see the recent design also if your account has been old already or if you have created some generation you could see the recents in here and if you have followed some people you could see it onto the following and the top users also in here onto this or the top creation so let's just head back here onto the trending so here onto the trending we could actually utilize this to go ahead and also find in some ideas so we could try to create some stickers for a print on demand or some t-shirt design and let's try to see what it will give us so this one it is actually good and we could try to create something like that but i kind of like how this one turned out so let's create something that is more like colorful or anything that could be eye-catching onto our design creation so we're just gonna go ahead and try to browse onto these examples first so that we could find a great source of inspiration for our own t-shirt design so let's just scroll down further until we find something that we could use for a logo design. So I kind of like how this one turned out. So we could see the prompt in here that is used Ne Manuela on the background 3D with flowers and butterflies in colored smoke and pink. So you could actually see the four variations also that was generated together with that specific image. So let's try to choose this one. I kind of like this one, how this turned out. We could actually see who made this design. We could follow them share this design to others and these three dots to share this image copy the prompt download it and report this so we could actually like this image as well and for us to be able to create something like this there is actually a remix button in here so if you click onto the remix button we're gonna go ahead and try to use this image that was created by the other user as a reference in here now we could try to also do some creations onto the prompt in here so let's revise this instead of seeing Manuela we could go ahead and try to change the name in here so let's try to think of a name for example we want to add in here fate so let's add a name fate on the background 3d with flowers and butterflies and colored smoke and pink and then there are actually some buttons in here that we could choose from so that they will have a reference so we're going to go ahead and click onto the typography so that they'll know that we are actually prioritizing the words in here and also this image weight this is actually basing onto the photo in here so if you have this higher it will base more or the generated image will base more onto the photo reference that we have and if you lessen this it will base more onto the text prompt that we have so i think two in here might be best so that it would be balanced and let's try to see what ideogram will give us if we click on to generate now as you can see it will gonna go ahead and generate and we'll just have to wait for its generation in here so as you can see there is a generation progress and it might kind of blurry as of the moment right now but once it is completed it will go ahead and full or see its full image now as you can see i kind of like how this one turned out we have fate right in here but onto the other generation there might be some issues within its typography but we have a right one already in here and i kind of like how this one turned out so you could just download this if you're satisfied already with that one so you could use that image for print on demand as a logo and let's try to change or try to create our own also generation in here for our own print on demand let's think of something oh for example let's add in never give up let's add in ne never give up so let's add in in here text never give up and let's enclose this one out in flower in flowers and butterflies now let's try to leave it as it 
is and let's remove this image weight since we're not going to use that as for reference let's try to click on the typography again let's try to choose poster as well in here or anything that you want to see and then you could also choose in the ratio in here and if you click this drop down you could choose some different versions from ideograph let's leave it for version 2 and let's try to click on the generate and let's try to see what it will give us and now as you can see here are the photos that it has given up so I've actually liked how this one turned out since there has been no errors recording the typography. So you'll just need to be very specific onto your prompts in here so that it will really give you as well onto what you want to see. Now, for example, if you want to do some logos also onto our print on demand, let's try to rephrase the prompt in here. Let's try to add in logo here onto the bottom part and let's try to see what it will give us. So let's click on to see all in here to try to choose on the different things. So if you want to add this let's add vibrant and let's try to see what it will generate it will add a logo here now we'll just wait for its generation and as you can see here are the photos that it has given us so actually under this one there might be some minor issues within its typography but this one it actually looks good already so we could try to download this one out so that we could go ahead and try to make something further in here so that it would look like really for a logo now since logos doesn't normally have a background in here, we could try to remove that using this tool that we have in here, which is click drop. So what we'll need to do is since we've downloaded the photo already, we're going to go ahead and try to drag it, drop it in here so that we could remove the photo or the background of it. Now let's try that one out for this never give up photo. So it's going to drag and drop it in here. And as you can see, it has been added already. And then we're going to go ahead and try to click on to remove background so that we could go ahead and remove it. So note that you need to sign in first before you could do the removing of the background onto this tool. Now, as you can see, we'll just have to wait for this one since it is still processing. And this is how it would turn out right after removing the background. So you could just simply download this so that if you want to go ahead and try to change the different colors of the background onto it for your print on demand you could actually do so easily since we've gone ahead and remove it the background already now right after we have this one also this tool that we could try to use so that we could try to change the pixels to vectors in full color so we could convert our photo in here to vector so that it would be easy for you to use it on your print on demand since usually for print on demand they use the vector format for that one so the same thing we'll just have to drag the image in here to begin now let's try to add it in here the one that we just recently removed the background now as you can see it is still uploading and right after we'll just have to wait for the process and the fetch to be done now right after you could actually see a comparison of the original image and the vectorizer ai result and if you zoom into this as you can see it is kind of blurred and this one is actually doing good already since this is a vector format already so you don't have to worry once you try to go ahead and design it onto other formats you could go ahead and change the colors or backgrounds easily since it is already not that blurry since we've changed already the format to vector so this is actually a really helpful tool for people who are trying to do print on demand or just simply designing itself now once you're satisfied go ahead and download it or export it in high resolution for your print on demand platform so you'll just need to leave the options as it is, but you could tweak the di different options in here as per your liking and just click on the download. And there you have it. You've successfully used Ideogram AI to create t-shirt designs or logos for your print on demand. With the power of AI and additional few tools, you can now generate enhance and customize your designs effortlessly. So get creative and start designing your next awesome t-shirt or logo. And if you think this tutorial was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video